Nothing beats queuing up early in the morning to wait an extra 15 minutes. Love it. All right, thankfully, Epic Games actually hasn't thrown us too many curveballs. The settings are pretty much the same on performance mode, but we're still going to take a look at that just to make sure you guys are optimally set up. First off, though, you do want to be on full screen. Full screen always gives you the best FPS with the lowest input delay. You just want to make sure you have your frame rate set to whatever your monitor is. You can go unlimited too if you want. That way your PC isn't using like a lot more resources than it has to. You got your regular graphic settings here. These really don't change and impact FPS in any way. Set those up how you like. And then you got your 3D res. I have mine at 100%. You can go down to like 92 before you really start seeing a huge difference. Um, personally, I'm not really a big fan of it, so I just keep mine at 100%. Some people say there's a bit of an FPS gain if you have it at like 92%, but regardless, um, I have everything else at near and low and off for all these settings, and that seems to work out best for me. I have VSync show FPS on off. Uh, you can show FPS on. I don't think that makes any difference really. Uh, rendering mode is actually on performance mode, but we're actually gonna switch over to DX11 for a quick moment because if those of you that don't know, uh, when you're on DX11, all the settings that you have on there actually save over to performance mode, which is kind of cool. Epic is basically just hiding all those extra settings from you in performance mode. But when you switch from DX11 to performance mode, they carry over. So we're going to switch to DX11 so we can look at the more advanced settings you guys need to get the best FPS. So one of the newer settings, I don't believe this was in any prior season, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's anti-aliasing and super resolution. Now, personally, I recommend super resolution because it says even right here, uh, super resolution methods do the same while additionally improving performance. Um, and it does that by rendering less pixels in each frame and generates the same resolution output image. And for that setting, I recommend leaving it on fast approximate anti-aliasing. So all these other ones, you want to have them on near, off, low, off, low, uh, same as before the season. And that's just the best options that way. Same with V-Sync, motion blur, show FPS, um, and all of them except for allow multi-threaded rendering. You want to have this on if you have a four core CPU. If you only have like a two core or less, like an i3 Intel processor, you might want to keep this on off. You might get F FPS um, boosted with having it off. But if you have four or more, like an i5 or higher, keep it on and you'll probably get a better FPS boost there. Um, so the other one is latency markers. You can have this on. This is actually going to show um, your latency HUD in game and also Nvidia Reflex Low Latency. You definitely want to have this on plus boost. It gives you an FPS boost that way and reduces input lag. So you actually get less input delay. So the game feels a lot smoother when you have this on plus boost. And that is not an option on performance mode, my friend. Make sure to have all those saved in there. And then of course, be sure to switch back to performance mode because performance mode is still king in my books for getting the best FPS. Don't forget to hit apply and then you're good to go. Just restart the game. So once you're loaded back in, just take a look at your settings. Make sure everything is still good in there. If there's anything you need to adjust, make sure to change it. Um, like capping your FPS, switching rendering modes, window displays and stuff. Just make sure to hit apply, confirm the settings, and yeah, those are all the best in-game settings. I'm going to show you a couple tweaks now that you can do on your config file. Uh, if you guys haven't changed your game user config file, super easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do that real quick on the desktop. So switch over to the desktop here. The first thing you're going to do is pull up your config file, but it's really easy to do. All you're going to do is hit your Windows key or click on your search icon down here, and then you're going to type in percent app data percent sign. And it'll show this file here. You're going to click on that. You pull that up, you'll get three options. Double click on local, and then we're going to scroll down till we see Fortnite game. Double click on that and then saved, then config, Windows client. And here is your game user settings. Don't open this quite yet. First, you need to go to properties and make sure it's not on read only. If it's on read only, you're not able to make any changes on it. So keep it off of read only and then you're clear to open it. So the things we wanna double check here that are on uh, is first any of your latency tweaks. If you don't see latency in here, you can also search it and just type in latency. Just kind of like a quicker pathway to it. And then once you find latency, make sure this is on true and that latency tweak is on two. 
So next thing I, I recommend doing is typing in ray. This is gonna find your ray tracing settings and just make sure these are all on false. So ray tracing shadows quality. We wanna switch that to false. And if you have ray tracing reflections quality, turn this to zero. And this one has true when you change that to false. So any of that say ray tracing in here, basically we're just switching them to zero and false just to make sure that they're not impacting um, any of your FPS because ray tracing just basically makes your image look a lot better. It's also used in all the new RTX and video graphics. So switching that all to off is just gonna make it a little bit more simplistic, but also increase your FPS. I almost forgot, there's one more latency setting that I didn't get to, and that's low input latency mode is enabled. You want that on true. So those are all the main settings, the ray tracing settings, the latency settings. Having all those you know, set up correctly like this is gonna help a lot and give you a little bit of an FPS boost. So you're gonna wanna click save here, save all those settings. And once you save it, go into your properties and then check read only. And the reason we want to do this is it's just going to make sure that Epic, uh, that Fortnite doesn't automatically change any of those existing settings that you just updated and you're good to go. And just go ahead and open up Fortnite, test it out. You should be getting a lot better FPS with those little tweaks and uh, changes there. If you guys need a full PC optimization, I'll leave a video down in the description. Check it out. We talk about all the other settings to optimize your PC to give you the best FPS and reduce input delay. Well, that's it for now, guys. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Enjoy the new season. This has been Cameron. Peace out for now.